Hi, in this Coinbase app tutorial, I will show you how to buy crypto on the Coinbase app and how to use the Coinbase app and show you all the important features of the Coinbase app. If you want to jump forwards or backwards, then I've added the timestamps in the description below, but I recommend watching the entire video so you don't miss out on anything. So I'm going to presume you already have the app on your phone. If not, then go get it off either the Android or iOS app store. Just make sure you download the Coinbase app rather than the Coinbase wallet app because they are two very different apps. As a brief overview, if you buy crypto through the Coinbase app, they will host your crypto for you. And this is a custodial wallet where they manage your private keys. Whereas the Coinbase wallet app is a self-custodial DeFi wallet where Coinbase has no control over. And once you create the wallet, you are the full owner. Once you have the app on your phone, if you already have an account, you are going to click sign in. But if you don't have a Coinbase account already, you will need to click sign up. You will have to answer some questions about yourself, which is known as KYC or know your customer information. Due to financial regulations, you will have to give them some sort of ID to prove you are who you say and not a career criminal. And so you would take a picture of this with your phone and upload it to them. Then they will review all this info and will confirm when your account has been verified. If you don't already have a Coinbase account, I have a referral link down below, which if you sign up using it and deposit $100, then we will both get $10 in crypto. And I will be massively thankful for as it really helps support this channel. So once you've logged in, you should land on the home page, which will look something like this. So at the top, you can see your portfolio balance. And then along with this, you'll see some of the main options, watch lists and news. Feel free to have a browse of this, but to get started here, we're going to go to payment methods, which you get to by pressing the nine dots in the top left. From here, you want to click on your name and then where it says profile and settings. I already have a couple of payment methods listed here, but you can add new ones by clicking this button here. Then you have a few options. I won't go into all of these in detail, but it's worth noting that some UK banks won't allow payments in and out of some crypto exchanges, including Coinbase. And if your bank is one of these, you may unfortunately need to use a different payment provider. Now, once you have a payment method set up, Coinbase makes it very easy to buy crypto and you want to click on one of the buy buttons that are all around the app. If you press back from the payment details page, then it should take you to the home page again. If it doesn't, then click the home button in the bottom left. Then below your balance is a button that says buy. So if you click this, then from here, you need to pick a coin that you want to purchase. So I'm going to pick Bitcoin, but you can pick whichever one you want from the list. There are literally hundreds. Now on this page, you can either key in the amount in your local currency, mine is pounds, yours may be dollars or something else. Below this, it shows how much you will get roughly in this cryptocurrency. And you'll see this update as the price changes over time. Alternatively, you can key an amount of the crypto by pressing the arrows underneath. You can also click these buttons here for 10, 50 or 100 pounds. Now, if by any chance you clicked the wrong crypto, you can change this here and Below this, you pick your payment method. It's worth noting there is a minimum order of £1.99. And if you want a one-off purchase, you can hit review order and it will show you how much of that crypto you're getting and any fees from that transaction. The fees go up in stages. So if you're buying £1.99 of crypto, the fee is the same as if you're purchasing £10. The fee is taken out of the amount you are buying. So if you're paying £10, you're technically getting £9 and 1p in this instance due to the fee. Also, if you click the I next to the Coinbase fee, it tells you that Coinbase includes a spread fee baked into the price, which is not the case if using the advanced trader, which I'll come on to later. Alternatively, if we go back and you press on recurring buy, you can set Coinbase to purchase the same amount of crypto for you at a set frequency, such as every day, week or month. Again, you can press review purchase before placing your order here. Once you've got crypto on your account, you can click on the My Assets page and you should see all your cryptos on your account here and their values over time on the graph. 
So if I flip mine to all time, you can see mine's been all over the place, but I have held crypto since 2017 and I have transferred some out. Below this, you can see your balances of each individual cryptocurrency you hold and any fiat currency balances on your account also. So from here, you can click on any crypto you hold and see a range of details about that coin, including a price chart, market stats and news. From here, you can also sell a coin you hold to cash out to a fiat currency. Again, this is very similar to before and if you review the order, you can see the fees before placing the trade. As I mentioned before, Coinbase makes it super simple and has links everywhere to do the main actions. So you may have noticed at the top, I can flip between buy, sell and convert here. And the convert button is again on the page before this. So if we click on convert, this allows you to convert one crypto to another by selling one cryptocurrency and buying another cryptocurrency. So if you press on from, it will show all the cryptos you hold. Then on the to side, you can convert to anything in this list. There are no Coinbase fees for this, but Coinbase includes a spread in the exchange rate. So if we go back to the home page, you can also send crypto if you have the phone, email, wallet address or QR code of the wallet you want to send to. Alternatively, if you want to receive crypto from someone else, click on the receive button on the home page and this has all your wallet addresses and associated QR codes. And you will see each wallet address by selecting a coin from the drop down at the top. Make sure you understand that you can't send any old crypto to any wallet address. The correct crypto needs to go to the correct wallet address. So you can't send ETH to your Bitcoin wallet because you will lose it. Also, if for example, you're on the Ethereum network and you want to flip to one of the other ERC20 networks, you can do this on the top right here. An ETH address can only receive Ethereum from the ETH network. Another option in Coinbase is the ability to stake, which you can do from the earn button at the bottom. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice. So if this is something you want to do, then do your own research as I'm not a financial advisor. If you want me to do a further video on this, then let me know in the comments below. Another feature I must mention is the advanced trader feature. So if you go to the trade menu item on the bottom, then go advanced trade. This is what replaces Coinbase Pro and has no spread fees because you are interacting directly with the order book. If you want to know more about the fees, then click orders at the bottom, then fee summary at the top, and you can review the advanced trader fees here. As a quick overview, I'm going to click on BTC to GBP as I hold Bitcoin. From here, I'm going to pick a market order, which means my order will execute at the first available price. So here, I just put in how much I want to sell in pounds sterling or BTC, or I can put 25, 50, 75% or all of my holding here. Then if I preview my order, I can see the estimated fee and the estimated order total. Alternatively, I can also put in a limit order, which lets me pick the price I am happy to sell at, but obviously the price has to go to that specific price for the order to actually process. You can key a price in here or you have buttons that set the limit price to one, five or 10% higher than the current price, or you can just pick the mid or ask price. I'm gonna key a value and basically I'm saying sell my Bitcoin if the price reaches 30,000 pounds for one coin. And if it does, then sell 50% of my Bitcoin holding as that's still selected from my market order before that I didn't process. And then I can preview my sell order and see all of the details of it here. And if I want that to go through, I would press place sell order. And then buying on the advanced trader is very similar again. So as mentioned before, if you don't have an account, then I would love it if you use my link in the description below. And if you got any value from this video, then please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel as I upload new finance content every week. And if you've decided that you would prefer custody of your crypto, then I recommend watching this video next, which shows you how to use Coinbase Wallet. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.